Hello world, my name is Crunky, and welcome to the first episode of Crunky's single player survival Minecraft. 1.12 is just released not too long ago, and I felt it was a great time to get started on the new Let's Play series. So, let's get started, shall we? We've loaded up in this new world, and we found ourselves in a forest hills biome, which is great because there's plenty of wood and plenty of things to get us started. There's also this beautiful mountain range over here, which I feel is a great place to get started on a new first base. But, let's get started. With Minecraft being the name of the game, it's time to get some resources. Now I figured I'd start off by getting plenty of wood so that we can build a bunch of ladders and get straight down into a, a mine and start branch mining. I won't bore you with that, so I'll jump straight into this with a first person time lapse. And I'd like to talk to you guys while I'm there. First and foremost, I'd like to take some time out to thank everyone who's watching. Each and every single view means so much to me and it, just thank you so much for taking the time to check me out. Things may be awkward, this being the, my first episode, I'm still getting used to talking to the mic and just this whole YouTube thing. So please bear with me and I promise you things will get better. With that said, I'd like to talk to you guys about what my plans are for this series. It being episode one, there's not a whole lot to show you guys. There's a lot of cutting down trees, digging the ground, mining resources, and getting food. So that's why most of this episode is going to consist of time lapses. Because I don't want to bore you guys. But I promise you that's all going to change once I have enough resources to get started building. I should start by letting you guys know what kind of Minecrafter I feel like I am. For example, you have your builders, your technical people, your redstoners. I kind of find myself more in the technical, more into the redstone part of Minecraft. Because I mean, th those are the kind of things I'm interested in. When it comes to build style, I'm... Very industrial, very modern, uh, very symmetrical. And when it comes to things like ruined type builds, I mean, I have great respect for the people that can build like that because God knows I can't. But at the same time, it's not really my style. It's not the way I like to build. Like I said, I like things to be very symmetrical, very clean. And you'll see me trying to do more things, trying to build in the ruin style to build in a more natural way but we'll see how that goes when it comes to redstone i kind of want to be at the front of the line the bleeding edge um, i want to be the kind of person that is inventing new contraptions and putting it out to the community and having my builds featured in other people's videos and that's that's the goal that's the grand plan but you know we'll see how that goes as well but that means I'm going to be doing a lot of work with observers because I feel that there's a lot of things that can be done with these observers that haven't really been looked into yet and I kind of want to push that envelope. And I kind of feel that's what the Minecraft community is really all about, you know, creating new things and providing it to the community and taking from the community and adding that to my repertoire and making those things better and then putting it back in the community. And it's just a huge cycle that I kind of just really want to be a part of. And so that's kind of one of the reasons that I started this whole YouTube channel and this whole new adventure. So that kind of brings me to my next point, which is where do I see myself and with this channel in the future? Like I enjoy playing vanilla single player Minecraft as that's pretty much all I've played exclusively up until now. But like I said, Minecraft is a big community and I would like to be part of another community, uh, hopefully a community of Minecrafters on YouTube that I can just build with and have a good time with. And that's that's the ultimate goal. Whether I get there or not, it's not a big issue. I, I enjoy playing what I play. But like I said, it's it's one of the big goals that I would like to achieve with this channel. We interrupt this time lapse with the world's first diamonds. So let's block off this lava and see how, how many diamonds we got. It looks like we got one, two, three, four, and it looks like five diamonds and a bunch of redstone. That's great because now we can make a pickaxe. But I'm going to get back to that time last. But this time I think I'm going to add some music because I'm having a little trouble thinking of what to talk about.
So I've been mining for about 30 minutes now, including the trees that we cut down earlier. And I had to stop because as you can tell, I am low on health and I am hungry. And unfortunately, I don't have any food because while I was cutting down the trees, I figured I'd run into an apple or two, but that didn't happen. So I have no food and I ran into a skeleton while I was mining down there. You might have seen it in the time lapse. So yeah, I have less than half health and no food, which is not a great start. But more importantly, during our haul, this is what we got. We ran into some diamonds you might have saw while I cut in the middle of that time lapse. And I got some more actually. Got about a stack, a little more than a stack of lapis, a little more than three stacks of redstone, plenty of iron, plenty of cobblestone and a couple pieces of gold a couple of stacks of coal which I had to use some to smelt some iron for my pickaxes now now that we got some iron I'd like to get some armor on because well as I mentioned I ran into a skeleton and he got the best of me so let's not have that happen again I don't think this is enough to get us what we need but it'll have to do for now. So that's pants, a helmet, and not enough for shoes, unfortunately. Well, that'll get us started. And once it stops raining, because I don't know if it's daytime or not, once it stops raining, I'll head back out and we'll get some food. We'll get all ready to start mining some more and get some proper resources. So I'll cut to that right now. Oh boy, this is going to be a interesting start to the series. <sighs> well, time to go get her gear back. I'm back in my little hole again. I, uh, I died. Yeah, you probably saw that. Baby zombies, they're great, aren't they? Anyways, I got some food. I am all suited up now. And I think what I want to do now is get a food source started. Um, I got some eggs. I don't know if this will be enough to at least get one chicken. I'd like to get a chicken farm started because I, I feel it's the best farm to get started in Minecraft. Uh, but for right now, I got some seeds and I figured I would get myself started with some wheat. Because uh, wheat's the easiest thing to get started with. Uh, I know that there's some water over here. So I'm going to grab that real quick. And let's get up here. I hid my water source right here. And I hope that doesn't take out my... Oh, I'm sure that took out my torches. But, oh well, I can always replace them. Patch that back up. And let's get back to where we started. Let's eat up while we're at it. So I want to dig out a little space right about here. And it's going to be a small three by three area. And I'm going to have a water source in the middle and just put seeds around it. Uh, I hope I have dirt. And I think it's too dark in here to actually... Yep, that should do. Let's see, dirt, dirt. Great. Uh, that's alright. We only have four seeds anyway. I need a hoe now. Stone hoe's fine. So let's go and till our ground and drop some seeds in here. And we should start getting some wheat soon. All the rest of our food is cooked. 
And yeah, so I'm going to mine for a little bit more and I'll get back to you guys once I'm satisfied with the resources that I have for today. I'd like to get started on a base, but we'll see how this mining session goes. So I'll be back. After about 30 more minutes of mining, this is what we got. Plenty more redstone, plenty more cobblestone, plenty of iron. Unfortunately, we didn't find any diamonds, but that's all right. We'll run into that later. Um, but yeah, things are looking good. So now that I have quite a bit of resources, there's one thing that I kind of need to find right now, and that is a village. Once I find the village, I'll explain why it is the village that I'm looking for so early in the game. I found a village, I recorded a whole bunch, but I was not able to find what I was looking for. And to be honest, it was a quite boring adventure. So I just cut it from the episode. But basically, what I was looking for in this village, and the reason I was looking for a village so early on is because one of the hardest things to get early game is an enchanting area because it requires a lot of books and without a sugarcane farm it's pretty hard to get those books so one of the easiest ways to get those books is to raid villages and most villages have a library I'll call it a library there's a hut with a bunch of bookshelves and normally I'll raid those to get those bookshelves but unfortunately this time I wasn't able to find any what I did find was a bunch of carrots and seeds and stuff like that which is great because it'll get me started in making some food we'll return to a village later oh also the other thing that i wanted to raid the village for was actually for wool because if you notice that the lamps i guess we'll call them lamps um the lighting fixtures actually have black wool with a bunch of torches around them and if you take that wool you have enough for a bed so I was able to find some wool on my way to to the village because the village that I went to is quite far out but uh, if you don't have any sheep in your area in your spawn area and you need a bed but you do happen to have a village then hit up that village and grab the wool because it's a great place to start getting some wool to make a bed speaking of beds I just slept for the first time in this world so colorful beds that's a new thing in 1.12 and honestly I think it's pretty cool because it adds a whole new what am I trying to say a whole new color scheme to bedrooms if you're into that kind of thing um, honestly, I was getting kind of sick of the red beds and colorful beds is just a great addition. Anyways, that's all I have time for today. Just to give you a heads up about what's coming next episode. I'm trying to get my base started. I have a lot of redstone projects in mind and to get these projects started, we need sticky pistons. As most of you know already, if you want sticky pistons, you need slimes. So I'm going to find myself a nice slime chunk. I'm hoping to find maybe a double, maybe triple. If I'm lucky, a quadruple slime chunk that I can just pump out massive amounts of slimes. Sorry, slime blocks. So you can look forward to that. You can look forward to that for next episode. As for this episode, like I said, that's all the time I have for today. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure it was a bit awkward as it was my first episode. But please stick around and maybe I'll have some interesting content that you'll enjoy watching. So if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a like. It would really help out. And if you could subscribe, that'd be even greater. I promise the next episodes will be much better than these today. Anyways, have a good evening. And good night.